thing, a 55 or something? 33. Huh? 33. 33. Oh, I missed it by a generation. Then you have to start it with a certain gas and then yeah. turn it over. I'll get an A or a B for that one. <laughs> How old is this rice and what kind is it? Cypress is planted on June the 4th. June the 4th. So let's see, uh, July, August, September. So it's a little bit past a few days, huh? But it's ripe, apparently, huh? Still got a lot of green. Yeah, it's uh, still green, but it'll cure. Uh, we're not worried about that, so we just want some straw to thrash, cut, just like we've been doing. So the big event's going to be next weekend. Uh, you, you're going to have the thrashing machine here, uh, likewise? Right, it'll be here uh, October the 5th. It's okay. going to be in the field for three weeks, approximately. We're going to cut it all today, but we're going to get started. We're going to leave some for the 5th. So somebody happened to come and had never seen this uh, you're gonna leave done. It. Yeah. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little strip down the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. And uh, the threshing machine, uh, that, that's been around for a while. Uh, Crowley Rice Festival uh, yeah, but Bill, shares that. Bill or? fought, rebuilt one. Rebuilt one? He just rebuilt it. He just about threw re uh, He said he's got very few things left to do. He's going to bring that over here. Looks, looks good. Sure does. He rebuilt good. one in his shop over there south of Crowley. Wow. A lot of work. I guess so. The last one I saw that was standing was uh, Shadda, Broussard and them, you know, Hayes, Broussard. Mm -hmm. 
That was the last one I saw. In, in fact, it just it's, it's it just rotted. Tree, tree growing in it. Yeah. I saw that. We, I went to ask you about some parts. I bet it's a chicken tree too. Huh? Hey, you better believe it. It's not a pear tree or something no, useful. No, no, nothing like that. Apprentice, and I want the uh, experts. Is there such a thing? Expert. No, no. Who'd be the expert out here? Um, What's in bars? Bernie said he's the expert. He is. Well, okay, that's good enough. What bottles what? they put in up here? Ten. Ten. Oh, that's where you. That's where you put. Uh, Nine it's that, no, no, the in the it. carrier. Oh, I don't know. And then the man back there dumps it and flips a right. uh, paddle or something. Put it in the roof, yeah. yeah. You, well, you gonna see? You I gonna see? No, I remember doing that for uh, uh, Lindsay and them, you know, a long time ago. And I, I, that damn seat, you know, that metal seat, I couldn't reach the nowhere. I mean, my feet were Too barefooted. Shot. Yeah. So I had to step down, hang on to something, and go down there and put press it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, I thought they would put, but they can't put ten. It'd be too much. I believe it'd be too much. No, it's. But you see, you take. That's what makes a shot. Ten. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, that, but there was two hundred pounds. That's sack. what I was saying. There was two hundred pound sack. There wasn't a hundred pounds. It was hard to throw on the truck. Yeah. Well, the sack was what one eighty six, I think, is yeah, it gross? One hundred sixty. There was usually a barrel. A barrel, size. but there used to be some two tens, I believe. One sixty two barrel. Yeah. Needless to say, I was never tall enough to drag a side. You remember the old days they had two men dragging them? We're going to do that out here. Go, huh? We're going to do that out here. We need you to drag yeah. them. <laughs> I'm going to stay behind the camera. Hello. Okay. I'm going to take a picture with you. Not long t now, how about the weeds? Did you pull them weeds in this thing, or we still got bothered with weeds? Indigos. Uh, black rice on the other end. Yeah. It's bad. It rained on right after it drew. Now, according to the uh, studies, they're supposed to have a type of rice that'll, or that black rice is supposed to mature faster and drop to the ground, and you won't harvest That's the right. thing. Now, isn't that ingenious? Oh. What you got to do, plant the black rice first? <laughs> no, but I believe you can put some chemical that the black rice don't see. Okay. It won't mature. Inert, in other words, infertile. Okay, I'll go along with that. I believe that That's what it is. Now, how about some? You know, it's going to be just like the soybean. That, that thing will be, uh, you won't be able to kill the good rice. It'll kill everything else but the good rice. Yeah. How about the rodents in here? Do we have anything we want to catch or trap? While we at it, hey, we gotta eat tomorrow. You know? it might be too uh, whatever cool. rice, the rice that they're gonna use, the gene of that, that herbicide won't kill it. Yeah. And all the rest, it kill. it'll kill everything. Kill. Black, kill. black rice, red rice, grass, everything. That, is that is that uh, who's inventing that? You remember what? Well, that's LSU come on. LSU. Lens come on. Get down. Well, you know they do a lot of studies. I have a lot of footage they're, they're in there. Five, five years before you get on the market. You mean they're gonna ruin a lot of people's fields before? <laughs> <laughs> it goes proof, a lot of, as usual, huh? A lot of people's fields been ruined this year because they hadn't get, gotten in there to, to work the, the field. I know mine is. I'm going to leave it out another year, and hopefully we don't have this much rain again. Well, what what did the dry spell? You know, this year we had a a, 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 a different dry spell. You remember it was hot? It was 100, and the heat index was up to 100? It was uh, up until... Well, I, the reason I can tell you this, when the drought ended, Maurice had to pump this to flush it, to drill it. And it dried up and we drilled it, and then it started raining, and it's been raining ever since. Then you couldn't work it properly, huh? Well, I mean, you didn't want no rain on it once mm -hmm. you get it up. Yeah. For a month, anyway. You're in the drop. Well, I had to flush the field so I yeah. could drill it. And then I drilled it, and the next day it started raining. Yes, sir, it did. Everybody got a hook?
a small shop. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't make a small shop. You didn't make a small shop with your black light. Okay. What's going on? Eleven. You need one more, right? Did you, did you put it? You have one? Get a crowd. I gotta get a crowd. Sit down and wait for me to come back. Stay a little longer. Well, you don't have no hook. No. <laughs> well, I just made this this morning. Let me see another. Let me see another hook. I want to get that hook. See what they're catching it with. Okay. See if you can grab one. Right. Let's see. Put it for the cap. Okay. It's kind of tough on the fingers if you don't have the hook. How many are we putting now? Eight? Or ten? Ten? I'm a motorized. You know how to do it. You bring it through. Motorized. I just thought about that during the week, Bob. Come on, motorized. A couple of solutions. Quand l'automne arrivait, on avait pour sept semaines. Ah, de l'automne. À ce temps, on a tout fini dans deux semaines avec cette tout fini avec les combines, c'est tout fini par rien. Dans deux semaines. Oui. Mais comment on emmenait, comment on emmenait le riz dans la maison On emmenait ça au village, comment au wagon ou On avait bien des trucks. Quand ils battent le riz, ils vont battre ici le 5 du mois qui vient. Oui. Mais dans le temps passé, comment ça allait Ça allait en wagon Non, il avait quelques vieux. Il y avait pas une tonne de trucks, mais il ramenait ça en truck. Il est ramené au truck au warehouse. Il a bien des warehouses pour mettre ça dedans, non Là, vous voulez marquer les sacs pour oh, tel et tel Oui, les sacs. Oui. Que comment ça pesait les sacs Je t'ai entendu parler 210 tantôt. 210 livres, 210 livres à 212 livres. J'ai l'habitude de lever un petit sac de 210 livres. Oui. 
Si haut comme ça, vous pouvez aller, master, je suis censé de passer par les chemises souillées. Attention, pas lever trop de trop à faire. Et ça, quoi, c'est autant de ta main, dis-moi de ça. C'est un crochet. Vous trappez une botte comme ça ici, avec ça de pâte et vous l'emmenez, puis là, quand vous l'attrapez comme ça ici, vous connaissez Oui. Vous le plantez en bas. OK. Ça, c'est des steaks, on appelle ça, d'habitude. Et la planche sharp. On appelle ça aussi une botte aussi, hein? Une botte de riz, oui. Ouais. Et quand on battait du riz, tous les Wolverines gardaient deux bottes comme ça pour filer le mulet le soir. Hein? Et bien, Joe Wood, lui, il n'aimait pas, il gardait en son riz. Et après un soir, on les gardait, quand ça était, quand il était prêt à battre, M. Alexandre, je prenais un Wogan pour M. Alexandre Wickler. Oui. Et quand ça était pour euh, ba, ba, le, combat, la battue de M. Alexandre, le Wogan, M. Joe Wood gardait une splendide idée de Wogan, plein de Oh. Ça fait qu'on a été battu, M. Joe Wood, ils ont dit, il faut que quelqu'un attrape la partie de Rio Alexandre. Ça fait ça m'a resté à moi. Les autres avaient des mulets qui se sauvaient, des mulets par où Oui. Ils ont dit, moi, l'autre, j'arrive à la porte là-bas. Il était comme un caron cru, on précise le maritime. J'ai pas arrêté. Il voulait pas dire. Il voulait pas. 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 Mais les mulets, les mulets, ça mange ça, le euh, oui, riz? les mulets mangent ça. Du riz, du riz vert, hein? Et ça, non, non, non? c'est pas vert, il est sec. Il est sec, là? Ah oui, il est sec. You think it'll work better? Oh, yeah. They broke up some of them? It's not time. Une bonne patate, une patate douce là, hein? Avec des gratons dans la poche, mon. <rire> What kind of rice is the best so far this year? You know, what's... Well, we planted cypress this year. Cypress? Is this, this cypress right here? Yeah, that's cypress. Well, that, that's a new breed of uh, animal for me. I've never uh, heard of it before. Not too many years it's been out. Uh-huh. 
few Where, years. Is it tested by LSU and guaranteed to be better in the... In the uh, it, it yields good. It does? Oh, yeah. Some, uh, people, some people got as much as 50 barrels to the acre this year. Wow. That's a record, almost a record for this area, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Cypress is, uh, what is it noted for? It was tested to what? Well, it's, uh, it's a new breed, I guess you'd want to say. Resistant to diseases? They all claim to be resistant and all that kind of thing. I, I don't know how many resistance it's got in it, but... Yeah. That was a dollar and a quarter a day now doing that, fellas. <laughs> dollar and a quarter a day. Don't get too hot up there, then. You gotta stack that. In a certain way, you gotta stack that. Oh, no. mm -hmm. got too much of that coal, right? Be careful now. This whole side is just, uh, right? Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Woo. Watch up. Watch up. Hehehehe. It's a right rough hole. Yeah, it's for sure. You can get some for you, too. Go ahead. You ready any time, my boy? Good. Bob, you not hot up there? I know it's getting hot down here. This is the same thing as over there. It's just spread out. Back. Yeah. Okay. They must have, it might have been wet. They wanted to dry it, dry it up better, maybe. So they usually catch them? Oh, yeah, they usually take them right all that.
You think you got enough mule power there? <laughs>
them days you had a little, toss, a little demi toss of coffee and a sweet potato. You remember that? Huh? A long time ago? They also had a water boy. I was the water boy, I remember. I had to go way in the fields and bring that water to those people on them wagons. I couldn't even see. I mean, they couldn't see me in that rice, you know? And they say that was the good day. Hey, the dinner time was good. Remember them black pots? The show de Noir? Ooh, that was some good food. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful thing, huh? It's also a heavy one. I bet it's heavy. 50 pounds for sure. In Engine Club. Started this to have a little good time with all the boys and uh, remember the folks that used to do this. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Started about three years ago, just with about three or four of us. Now, how many members we got? 30 something. About 30 something members. And it was a dream of mine for a long time until I found this thrasher. Mr. Ravis Sermon from Abbeville gave it to me. We completely restored it. Started thrashing, we haven't had a minute's trouble with it. And I think we've had a pretty good time with all this. And uh, about all I can say is, David, you want to say something? No, I don't believe I want to say anything. <laughs> Did you have to write to the company, uh, McCormick Deering, for any specs or? No, sir. We made everything, in there, except for the chain ends on the, uh, the bundle carrier sticks. Ordered that from, from Case that? International. And believe it or not, they had them in stock in Dallas. Wow, all the sticks, I made them. All the pipes, the augers and stuff. Brian Foreman made all that, and he's a good at it. Okay. So uh, back in them days, what did that machinery cost? About? You have any idea what the I price was? I don't have any idea what it cost. Wouldn't be much. But like I would say, like I, know this I would say in the neighborhood of two thousand dollars probably. Back Tractic. then. Mm -hmm. One of these tractors cost about, about three and a half, four hundred. About well, about this six. Hundred. Separator wasn't that much. Uh, separator cost more than a tractor. Really? Yeah. But uh, I guess it's in the this, this thrash is in the thirties. I really don't know the year model, but it does have a serial number. And I'm going to find out. 
You might have an antique antique, huh? Yes, like sir. I got another one. It's the last one sold in the Cater Parish, there, I believe. Did this one hatch the other one, or what? Or is oh, it older? Probably did. <laughs> probably did. Now, have they improved? Are you aware of any improvements they made on these things, or that's about natural, like they come? Uh, it's not much difference. They did have some improvements. But if we get done and run them, we're going to run two of them in one stack. One stack. Oh, goody. So you plan on continuing this uh, this uh, harvesting episode for the community? Yes, sir. Hold on just a minute. Artie? Come here. Artie, get in the middle. Artie, look, see that spot? <laughs> yeah, y'all just, y'all just Artie, start. I'm gonna play like... I'm Artie's our man that we... He lets us plant his, on his land. <laughs> well, yes, and I, I suppose we will. It's, they've been talking talking to them to have it next year. If we got two thrashers, we'll double time it. Huh? We'll single it if we can't we'll double it. it. Yeah, we'll single it, not double Does the Department of Agriculture want to pitch in and help you with the fertilizer, seed, or in labor and all that, or are they kind of out yeah, of this thing? No. You want them to? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that's why we're coming out $20,000, $30,000 short every year. <laughs> 20, 30, I'll, I'll draft a letter. I want you to sign the first one, the promoter of this thing, okay? No, now, we enjoy doing this. We enjoy yeah. This. Well, this is good. Seems like there ought to be some kind of a, a school curriculum or you know, you ought to be applying that to a school classroom or something to come out here and watch this. We what? thought they would. They were really. supposed to. They but we had a rainy weather. day. Yeah. And uh -huh. it is educational, really, because this is history. Yeah. They, they were supposed to come. Because I, I think... Uh, I know there's a lot of farmers around that hadn't even seen this. Yeah, and the kids definitely didn't see it. I mean, they, they don't know what it is when they see it in the book, so much much less... Uh, we're going to advertise it next year. We're going we're gonna to do a little better job, we hope. We hope we can get the TV station to help us out. Yeah, bigger TV station. You got one here now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to beam this out. By the way, this will be in Lafayette, but it's uh, it's going to surely uh, uh, gain you some uh, tourists, like we say. This might be the weekend we'll have it next year. It's the third weekend in October. In October? Right. And you're going to schedule the weatherman to move this stuff right. south or whatever? Do something about it. <laughs> North? Yeah. <laughs> well, we can't complain. Not the, no, it even, wasn't too even bad. Last weekend, it wasn't too bad. We got by. Most everyone thought we didn't have nothing to do with the threshing, but we made it till 3:30, I believe it was, huh? Yeah. Now that uh, that binder reaper that you have in the, that we used, you know, to uh, start off this rice harvest, that is a borrowed piece of equipment, and it belongs to Ravis Sermon from Abbeville. Does he thank him for it? Okay. What What about the this thing that I'm I'm slowly uh, being made aware of that rice may be fading from this this parish, Vermilion? In this, in this part of the parish, necessarily, you think the number of acres is failing, or is it increasing, or is it diminishing, or what? Oh, uh, you just don't have the farmers to take care of it. Uh, what you mean? They're running a lot of us. They're running a lot of farmers to really? do the work. It's just guys like myself, and like we're about to the end of the rope, and there's not young guys coming in. It's going to be a serious problem later on. Is there still a rice cane. quarter for the? Oh, no. sugar cane. He said the right cane word. Cane is coming in. Yeah, there's more. You see, he got two rows. He's <laughs> taking a picture two. right here. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. If you see these fellas here? They're next. They don't know it, but they're going to have to say each, uh -huh. each and every one of them. Okay. There you go. Now, sugar, sugar cane, sugar, uh, I was reading this publication from the uh, Vermilion, Vermilion newspaper where it was something like 593,000 acres in Louisiana is in, is in rice. What do you think the acreage in cane is? Hmm. You would think it was... Probably more than the rice. Mm, I don't know. So what are you going to do with this rice we done milled today here? Well, I mean, what is this, charity or what? Huh? He's going to sell it. Supreme told me to take it. I want to take it there. They would take it. And it's, it's, some. it's right. Cyprus, right? Yep. And that's supposed to be the quality stuff of today. That's what Mr. Oh, Stu said, and he already left, so he, we can't challenge him. But anyway. <laughs> They're not a big market. It's really Even easy. Even though it's a better yield. It does? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to start a collection for another piece of equipment. Do you? Which one do you nominate for next year? You have tractors? You have the binders? We, uh, we're trying to get him to buy a steam engine, but he won't buy it. Well, oh, how do, I, how do I come up with that subject? A steam, who? This man wants to be a steam engine right operator? This man here? I would like to have it. I didn't see I was going to what will you use it for? I mean, we would put it on this thrasher. Right or you would drive the belt and that kind of thing, okay? Now, some fellow was telling me earlier, they used to, they had, not plenty, but they had the steam engine doing the, agri the cultivation. They would pull plows, disc plows, and gang plows and whatever. Well, I don't remember those days. Do you remember that? No, no. <laughs> uh, Artie, you don't remember those days. No, I don't. Why? <laughs> okay, who remembers those days? See, they they don't fellow around here to remember they don't. I don't believe you're going to find anyone here now. I bet there's none of them here that drove mule teams behind a plow. Mm -hmm. 
I don't see any hands going up. Uh, is the rice still the same? You got the problems with the muskrats break, breaking to the levees? You got your water level, your water or what, consistency? Yeah, same, you got same chemical problem? chemical control of the grass and then that, but we don't have a lot of muskrat trouble no more here. No. No. What, they're good to eat and somebody's eating? I eat? don't know what happened to them, but they sure did uh, disappear. Quiet. I wonder, oh, foxes and coyotes. Minks, probably got Minks kill them. Minks, ki okay. Kills them in the young stage, I believe, Kills huh? them. Anytime. Yeah, but mushroom is not, okay. Nutra's not bad to eat. No, if you saute it in whatever. <laughs> well, I have you ate it? I did. No kidding. Oh. Well. So next year you plan on reactivating the whole thing? Yes, sir. If we can get him to plant the rice. I think sugar cane might be the next crop, fellas. <laughs> hey, we can't try it. Have it coming. We don't have enough cotton pickers. So you can't go that way, huh? I cut cane and replanted by the cane knife too. Funny. Like the old days? Yes, sir. Where's the wife? You mean? Ah, she can't. She don't want to say nothing about that. Oh, I did. I chopped yeah. every stalk I put in here, all around. I had. Okay. I sure did. Oh boy, I never got it. But it, yeah, it's it's all right. It's all right. It's easy to cut though. Yeah. Cane. It's very easy to cut. At a you certain sharp knife. Down so you so could get off the machine and go to town, huh? Right. Four o'clock in the evening. Go to the dance on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah buy us something you survive. You know what? Yeah. Feeding it too fast. Feeding it too fast. It would choke up inside. You got about four o'clock on Saturday night. Everybody that, went home. That was, that was conniving, huh? That's right. <laughs> Okay, why? Uh-oh, let me start again. Wait, okay, wait. that's all right. First day I had, I had it two times. Second day of school. You pull okay. it through. Now you got it, huh? Yeah. Cut the knot. Chopping away over there. Expert, expert. You 
you're not going to eat them. Uh-uh. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I want some meat. The black guy's right here. You see, a crew had 12, 10 to 12 wagons. Okay. Now, to have, each man had a, a pitch for his wagon or whatever. What, yeah, the, the man would pitch upstairs to the other man yeah. to stack to the, on the wagon to lay it on the wagon. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, c'était tout ensemble. Ça change pas rien, ça. That was free. That was free because it was community service. You sort of helped out. Yeah, the... help out your neighbor, whatever. And the next time it was his turn, he would yeah. come He'd help you out. Other... Each pitcher had two wagons, didn't he? Well, something. Uh, yeah, most, you know, yeah, most of the time, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to get paid double this afternoon. Y'all heard that. can't answer right now. He's on the he's on the stage.